Hi everyone, I am Wisdom and welcome to my new online show, Wisdom Channel. Today is the introduction video for next week's 10 week song journey, which showcases songs from my album. Wisdom for me is more than just the songs. It is a movement, a message, a vision, and a chance to bring different and transformational content to the fore. It is also a brand, a character, archetype that will be shared through story, song, products, and all different services. Whatever medium I can use to reach, inspire, educate, and entertain people, I will. So not just be a traditional singer. I was always taught to be multi-skilled and have multiple streams of income. And, and that is what I'm adopting for wisdom. The 10 shows will be a punchy 10, 15 minute. So no really long videos or lectures here. They'll be pre-recorded and released every Wednesday for seven, for, for 10 weeks from next week, October 7th, 2020 being the official start. Most occasions I'll be on live and interact with you and I'll let you know in advance if I can't be there, but I'll be reading the comments and feel free to watch this on replay. So this intro, intro video is all about the topic being beginnings because each week we'll have a different topic based on my song. Song Tales is the story behind the songs. These songs are songs that have taken me years of building my self-confidence and belief to get these tracks and wisdom itself to, to flourish and fly. I've been called, I haven't even been called to write any new songs for a long time because these songs I'm, I'm wanting to birth and that's just the way I've worked. I just haven't felt the need to write anymore until I let these go. After speaking and introducing each song, I'll perform the highlighted track which the topic and show is based around. The first song will be performed in week one next week. We have three segments in the Wisdom channel. The, the segment you just saw was called Song Tales. The second segment is the magical question. The magical question is the segment which sheds a light more about the topic and the theme of the song. And it's through the answering of one question by an outside guest of around five minutes or less. If they go a couple of minutes over, I'm not going to be too tough task master, but I'll then wind them up. The, the, every guest will have the same question. So it's not, it's just a very basic question. It's not mystical or magical. It's just, a chance to, for them to share more about who they are and their work. And from someone I admire in the community or someone who's been a mentor to me. What is that question? The question is, if we have one piece of advice in regards to the topic, what is it? And so that's the magical question. And I have a special guest because the, the outside guests will start next week in week one. But I have a special guest to answer this first attempt of the question. And that's my alter ego, Giuliano Avedikian. So it's a chance to be in the topic being beginnings. It's a chance to get to know the man behind the robe and our beginnings of wisdom as well as Giuliano's beginnings in general. So the question is, Giuliano... If you have one piece of advice in regards to the topic of beginnings, what would that advice be? Thank you, Wisdom, for this opp opportunity to, to speak and answer the question. You mentioned you wanted me to share more about our beginnings. That it, That's not from the musical side of things, but our general beginnings. So I'll start that first before answering the question. My name is Giuliano Antonio Avedikian. I was born and still live in Melbourne, Australia. I have a heritage of an Italian mother who was born a few hours down south near Napoli and a father who's Italian, Italian Armenian, three quarters Italian, one quarter Armenian, our surname's Armenian, but he was born in Alexandria, Egypt. 
They both came with their separate families to Australia in the 60s. I grew up a rather quiet child living with a younger sister and brother in a very busy household of seven because my grandparents, my dad's side were with us. So sometimes there was a bit of tension there and it was difficult to speak up in a large household. Despite that arguments and tension, there was lots of love and support from the immediate and extended family and has continued to this day, although I do sometimes feel like the black sheep at times. I was a studious, nerdy kid at school and didn't know what I wanted to do when I finished school. I've had various careers over the years with the most enjoyable being as a disability support worker, which I did close to 15 years and only finished recently. I love travel, although I started in my 20s to travel a bit late, but I love it now. And I'm missing it. Music, all different types, but especially the 80s. Movies, performing arts such as the theatre, health and fitness and sports, playing and watching. Reading or different fiction and non-fiction books, spiritual self-development and esoteric learning, always looking to grow and develop as a person, leave a legacy, and make a difference here on the planet. 2015 was a big year for me when I reclaimed my birth name, Giuliano, as I was Julian for most of my life until then. Some people from my past, past or some people still call me Julian. I don't make a big deal of it, even though I prefer Giuliano. 2019, outside of beginning wisdom, has been a year of growth with getting structure in my finances because I used to be all over the shop and learning to be strong and exercising my rights and speaking up for myself. Well, 2020 with this global situation challenged many of us for me, I do miss being around people, but I've got, I've used the time well to work on, on wisdom and my music. I've been in a good place because of support from mentors, family. I was about to move and I delayed that, I, I will eventually. And different structures and decisions made, especially last year, set me up in good stead to deal with what's going on this, this year. So beginnings, answering the question, what was my, my, my advice be to do with beginnings? I know for myself, I've been stuck at times in my life with my vision, mission and purpose, what I wanted to do with my life. And I realised you can have all those visions and, and just sitting there procrastinating, but you have to take action. It doesn't have to be grand, massive action. It's small steps that you need to start following the path to your dreams. And in 2019, I chose to take the steps towards taking wisdom more seriously because music was just a hobby for 20 years or so and all my other interests, acting, public speaking, the spiritual stuff, and now all coming, culminating in what wisdom is here to offer. But I did, in December, for the summer solstice, last year I did my first one-man show. I did a one-man show. And I birthed and declared my intentions through ritual, song and sharing my story. And I birthed wisdom. Then the virus situation hit and it did, like many musicians and performers and other people, halted my momentum. And so I've realised I have to build, build online content as well as going back to in person when the time comes. I did my first show online show songs from a digital cave in June, singing all my songs. And in this, top, this period, I've also finished my backing tracks. My website is up and running. A broad wisdom channel and an upcoming wisdom book and album are on the way. I'll talk about those in my posts in the future. So in summary, when it comes to beginnings, take small steps. If you're the person who can take the massive step, do it. But just start. If you have, if you want to go on holiday, make a booking on the trip when we can. If you want to do music or paints, start buying the stuff and 
start working on the first song writing if you want to your dream job research work what you want to do so take action small step create your what you what you love what you're passionate about that is my advice for beginnings thank you Thank you, for Giuliano, for answering the magical question and giving an, us an insight into the, your thoughts and the background of, of wisdom and the man behind the robe. So thank you. We'll have our first guest next week and I'll tell you more about our guests and songs and the song titles and topic titles the week before each, each episode airs. This third and final segment is Words of Wisdom. This is where I summarise the topic and give the final thoughts about what happened through the episode, whether it's the song, the magical question, what the guest said, etc. So my final thoughts is to take action when you, in beginnings. Whenever you want to start something, I've done it before, I've procrastinated, I've put it aside even for years. Take baby steps. Don't just jump right into it unless you're the type of person who can handle that. So take small steps, milestones, whether it's, if it's a holiday, do the research, make that booking, then you do the work or the, and the money will, will come and you do all the other steps. If you have a project like I have with Wisdom Channel, I did the first writing of the script, the first video, just little steps and then you learn as you go along. And also don't forget to get some mentorship or some help if you need it, if you can't do it all yourself. If you can, that's great. So basically take action, take small steps and just begin. So that is the end of the, the introduction show. I hope you enjoyed it and learning a bit more about how this 10 week series will be structured. And so I hope you enjoy this short and sharp episode and that you, I look forward to seeing you all next week where you'll learn more about my first song and first guest. I am, the Harmonic Wizard, Wisdom, follow your magic. See you next week.